Right then, Musi Ola to Manchester United. Let's talk about it. it's a bit of an outrageous story, but a story that has been reported by various outlets over the last couple of days about Manchester United. Um, so I'm going to read you out the con the kind of main headline, and then I'll get into the actual article. So it read: Bayern Munich are having difficulties convincing Jamal Musiala to renew his contract with the club, which could spark interest from from the German international for Manchester City, Liverpool, and Manchester United. So. Listen, I don't know when his contract runs out. I think it is 2025. So, listen, maybe Manchester United will go ahead and pursue a deal to sign Musiala. I think he definitely is a player that I would love. He's he's one of the best top young talents in world football at this current moment. He's impressing so much at Bayern Munich. Um, and obviously, they. So um, let me get into the nitty-gritty of the news. So, Bayern Munich director Max Eberau has admitted to the club of finding it difficult to have contract talks with Jamal Musiala as rumours he could be approached by another club. Musiala obviously has a great form. He's 21. Um, he's in He's in the contract until June 2026, but he's using his red-hot form to try and negotiate improved terms. Now, this just could be him using Manchester United's bait to get a new contract. We've seen it before with other players. But next summer, you'd be able to get him for maybe £40-50 million pounds because he would have a year left on his contract. I think this is a deal. Just keep, Manchester United will just keep an eye on. Obviously, they they will be in a position next season where they have to do something around his contract. Otherwise, they lose him. They would be taking that risk to lose him as a free or for relatively cheap and kind of well below what he's worth. And that's something that I don't think Bayern Munich are willing to let happen because Musiala is one of the most talented and one of the best probably. He's up there with Jude Bellingham, both of the best young players. I think for me, he's he's a very, very talented prospect. Um, he has interest from Real Madrid, Man City and Manchester United, among others. There has been reports that Musiala's representatives were demanding £300,000 a week wages. That would put him in the same bracket as, obviously, their main striker, Harry Kane. So, listen, the wages situation is a big thing. Um, yeah, the price, the kind of wage is a bit extreme. I think Manchester United had a cap of reportedly two hundred thousand um, pound. So whether they'd be willing to kind of risk it and go down to that sort of money will be very very interesting. I think you look at what Manchester United have done previously in other years. Um, we would kind of break the wage structure for certain players, um, and I don't know if Musiala would be one of them. I think Musiala is definitely a fantastic player, um, and. He's one of the best in his position, a young footballer with a lot of talent. Um, as I said, the price, it won't be this summer it happens, um, or next summer rather. It, well, it would be next summer actually, um, because he'd, it'd be 2025 summer. He'd have a, a year left on his deal. You can negotiate in 2026, January, to get him in on a free, kind of like what Real Madrid did with Kylian Mbappe. It will be interesting. Just keep an eye on it because... Um, yeah, just keep an eye on it because I'll be interested to see what happens. Everyone knows my thoughts on Jude Bellingham. Um, a fantastic player. and Sorry, not Jude Bellingham, Jamal Musiala. And a player for me that I would love to kind of... How about United? He's one of those. You kind of replace him with Bruno Fernandes. Um, another player like Kim is obviously Florian Wirtz. Another young German player who's obviously at the top of his game at this moment. Um, it, it would be absolutely brilliant to see him join United, but... Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Would you have Musiala at Manchester United? I don't think there'd be many people that wouldn't. And then yes, he's demanding a lot of money, but with money comes that top quality. And many people would say Musiala is probably worth that 300 k a week. He's a superstar signing, someone who will massively impact the team. And he is that number ten that you would love. He can carry the ball. He can play in multiple positions. Um, I think he's he's a gifted player. He's got that close ball control. He's a very different player to Bruno Fernandes. Now, obviously, people can have the argument. There's players from the academy coming through. Who I'm not saying I like Musiala, but that pathway for the first team may be blocked if you bring in someone like Musiala in that position. But let me know your thoughts. I'm going to move on now. Talking about Goretzka and kind of that latest news on that. And we've got some few other stories before we wrap it up. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on that. For me, just to quickly summarise, Musiala, who wouldn't take him at this club? I mean, any football club would take Musiala. He is that, that good. He's a difference maker, a quality player and someone I would love to see at United in the future. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. And I'm going to move on now talking about Leon Goretzka and what that could mean for Manchester United. So stay tuned.